Hi Booktube and welcome back to my channel. I love to read and if it's your first time then welcome. I thought I'd start my um, my book haul with this saying because I really need it. Um, but anyway, yes, I have entitled this video now Book Outlet. I blame it on Book Outlet. You know, before I had the coupon of Hello Lala, and then two days later, Book Outlet had a 15% off. And then guess what? They also gave me a $5 coupon. But that was for something, an issue that I had. So, ooh, anyway, yes, I'm going to get started. I think from now on, I'm just going to entitle my series, I Blame It On just so I don't have to take accountability. But you know I'm kidding, right? I am responsible. But shoot, these sales were just so good. And then with the coupons and the extra $5. Okay, here we go. Thanks for watching. Okay, some people find this part exciting. So I'll let you get the fun out of seeing me get rid of the paper. I'm going to use this for... Um, wow. I'm going to use this paper for... What do you call this? Moving. Oh, there's more. Dang, there's some at the bottom. Alrighty then, first book. The 100-Year-Old Man by Jonas... Jonasson? Um, oh wait, okay. The hundred year old man who climbed out the window and disappeared. Uh, okay, now Jonas Jonasson. So if I remember, it's about um, well, him being a hundred years old. Hold on. Okay, so he lives in a nursing home, but he decides he wants to leave because he feels like this is his last bit of life and he wants to go and explore. So, hey, uh, really, this I don't know what this book is showing. Well, Sorry for the glare, but I kind of like that. It's the sun coming off the shade. The book is really yellow. I like it anyway, so. Hopefully it's going to be a good book. Yeah, it's paperback. It's kind of thick. Though. So, okay. Joyce Carol Oates Carthage. Um, it's a beautiful book. So, here we go. And, oh, that's just that. Okay. The back isn't so exciting. And hardcover. Um, so if I remember and understood this correctly, this book is about sorry. Okay, if I understand this correctly, this book is about a girl who went missing. Um, I think her she must have been raised by a single father, I think. But anyway, some wartime veteran uh, who has his own issues is out to help look for, and something weird happens, and I guess she isn't really missing as much as she just either left on her own or something caused her to leave, but it's supposed to be like, it sounds really good anyway. So there's that. Okay, The 100-Year Miracle by Ashley Ream. Of course, it's a hardcover. It's beautiful. Oh, it's silky. I love that. The book, beautiful, embossed. Spine is white. And pages, no, oh, it's just white. All right. If I remember this correctly, um, this is uh, every 100 years, this water right here, it turns green and for six days um, you can I guess it's a healing water or something and then uh, it's like all these different people come around and they have their own issues it's good it's kind of like in the Bible where uh, is this water um, I think it's in beautiful that's the name of the, the gate. And anyway, this man sits there. And he's been sitting there for 30 some odd years or more. And every time, like, 
I guess once a year an angel comes and stirs up the water and he's sitting right there and he's too slow to get in and then Jesus comes and asks him do you want to be healed and he's like making excuses of why he can't because every time he gets in somebody else is already there and so it's done so Jesus is like you want to be healed so the guy says yes and he heals him but so that kind of that reminds me of that but anyway this that water is like a healing water it sounds good so if it sounds good to you check it out I don't know when I'm gonna read it but check it out okay and this book is Britt Marie was here by Frederick Backman um, of course you can read the man the author who wrote a man called Uwe I love this cover um, okay so if I understood this one if I remember this one correctly uh, kind of like she has OCD and then uh, because she can't stand mess and then it says something about she isn't really past progressive but something happens with her husband who's a cheater and she walks out and then she walks out on him and she meets like these people and things just happen in her life it, it just sounds really awesome so there's that there's that it's cute and oh I love these covers that feel like butter just butter no. I hope it's a really good book. The Nest by, what's that? Cynthia O. O. Aprix? Sweeney? You guys know what this book is about. But it's still, even in paperback, it's so pretty. And it's got gold edges. Floppy. Look at that. Gilded cover. Gold gild. Yes. Anyway, so now I got and I got it really cheap too. The Good Son, JFK Jr. and the Mother He Loved by Christopher Anderson. Now I'm going to tell you something. Well, I am, um, first of all, even though he's gone, I still had a thing for him, JFK. But this book confused me. Um, so I went ahead and bought it anyway. It was cheap and it confused me. Because I, anyway, I'll let you know when I read it what I thought about it. But, of course, I bought it because it's a book about him. Yeah. It's supposed to be. I was confused. But I bought it. They gave me a bookmark. I'm not going to color it, though. But they gave it to me. <gasps> $4 off. See? See what I'm talking about? They gave me another freaking coupon. So, there we go. Weathering, a novel by Lucy Wood. Now I'm going to tell you something. I thought this book was about um, a girl that's dead, who's a ghost, and another girl who keeps moving with her mom. I don't know. It's a beautiful book. Look at it. And I got it as a good deal. It's hardcover. Oh, pretty. Finally. No, just white and paper. Oops, sorry. There we go. Anyway, hey. What the heck? All right. Pretty is a novel by Maggie Mitchell. Somebody talked about this book. I don't know if it was um, Peter Likes Books. Somebody, but do I have to keep saying good deal? I like it. It's just like um, a card, like a paper bag. So I'm kind of apologizing for the glare, but then not really, because I think this is. Oh darn it! One hand is not working. Did I finish telling you about this book? It's supposed to be about two 12-year-old girls, and they were kidnapped in the woods or something and then what happened to them and 20 years later something else happened to I don't know anyway I think it's a psychological thriller now I do remember this book she's very pretty um, Jennifer Teague and Nicola Selmer my grandfather would have shot me a black woman's discovery 
sorry, <laughs> a black woman discovers her family's Nazi past. So here it is. So um, if you don't know or can't tell, um, if you don't see any the features, she's uh, mixed with uh, German and black, uh, um, maybe African. Um, black African, but anyway goes, uh, she found out years later that her father, her grandfather was part of the, um, Nazi, uh, Hitler, part of Hitler's regime, and, um, it goes from there, so, yeah, I do remember hearing about her story, uh, and then I forgot all about the book until I happened to see it, I'm like, oh, there's that. So, score for me. I got it. Margaret Atwood, Stone Mattress, Nine Tales. So they're all short stories. Oh, darn. Oh, there's the Scratch and Dance. I wonder if um, some of these other books were Scratch and Dance. I can't remember. This is really green with this, like a hunter. Anyway, it's pretty. Like a light green and hunter. So, yeah. And my last book, Boy's Life by Robert McCammon. So, um, I started reading this at the library and I had to return it. So, I'm going to finish it. And this book was really good. So, it's just about, um, from the part I got to it, was this boy and his father. His father is a delivery truck guy um, back in the 50s or 60s and he happens to see this car swerve off it's in the winter time swerve off the road into the lake and his father goes to help and he sees a man naked handcuffed to the steering wheel the man is already dead um, his throat was slashed I think he was almost decapitated it was just really disgusting and it disturbed his father and he couldn't get him out of the water so it goes from there so a murder mystery uh suspense yeah it's good okay everyone so there you have it you see my dog my chihuahua and my baby um 100 year old man boy's life stone mattress my grandfather would have shot me pretty is weathering good sun the nest brit marie was here 100 year miracle Joyce Carol Oates and my bookmark. Thank you so much, people. And um, have a blessed day. And happy reading.